What's up guys, welcome back to McLaren Media, your home for everything photography, cars and videography. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the rear shock absorbers on a Mark VI Fiesta. Okay guys, uh, the, so the stuff you'll need for this install, obviously you're going to need a good jack, you're going to need some decent axle stands and you're going to need something to chock the front wheel so it doesn't roll away. Uh, but apart from those normal things I hope you've got if you're doing car mechanics, you're going to need some copper grease if you want to, like me, protect it for the future. It's always handy to have some fast release penetrating fluid, you don't know how bedded in some of the uh, rust and grime on the uh, nuts and bolts are. Probably a decent sized breaker bar, you don't necessarily need them, you can use force on the ratchet and that, but obviously, you know, the more leverage, the more torque you're going to have on something. You're going to need a decent ratchet with an extension. Um, if you've got the standard nuts and bolts size like me, you're going to need a 13mm for the uh, top of the shock mount, a 10mm for the two upper bolts inside the uh, chassis, um, a 15mm for the lower shock. If, like me, you want to speed things up, I've always got an impact wrench with a 19mm for my wheels, and also um, a torque wrench which allows you to talk to the specs is um, necessary if you're wanting to do it safely. But apart from that, guys, uh, let's jump in with the video. First step is to chock the front wheels of the car. Then slacken off the wheel nuts. Jack up the rear of the car and secure using axle stands. Then remove the wheel and put it under the car for an extra layer of safety. The rear shocks on the Fiesta are independent from the springs and are held in with one lower bolt and two upper bolts. Use a 15mm to slacken off the bottom shock bolt, then remove it. Use a 10mm to remove the two upper bolts. Be careful not to snap them as they are captive into the bodywork. This is the new shock. Notice how it takes a lot to push it down and then when it wants to, it returns to the extension position. This is the old shock. Really easy to push down and no return, so it's definitely worth the replacement. Put the old shock in a vise and use a 13mm to remove the old nut holding the mounting area on. It is best practice to prime the shock absorbers first. Do this by pushing them down and letting them retract 3-5 to five times before installing. Put the new shock in a vise and then reuse the dust cover and bump stop and top mount unless you are replacing all of these things. Simply slide it down the shaft then re-secure a new nut on the top and torque down. It's best practice to spray some copper grease on all the bolts before reinstalling into the car. Line the shock up with the holes and reinsert the bolts to hold it in place. You may have to compress the shock to allow it to fit into the mounting areas if, like me, you've got lowered springs. Then use the 15mm to secure the bottom mounting bolt, then spray some copper grease on it, then finally torque the top ones down, then reattach the wheel and off you go. So there you go guys, that's how you replace the rear shock absorbers on a Mark VI Fiesta. Definitely worth doing because mine are absolutely uh, just destroyed, really bad. Um, but I'm soon hopefully going to do with the front ones because they're also just as bad I think because they're also around six years old and they've never been done. The roads around here are absolutely terrible. Blame that on Dorset Council, would you for me? Thank you. Um, but apart from that guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it um, helpful. Hope you can do it yourself. It's not the biggest job in the world, especially on the rears. They're quite easy. Just be careful with them top bolts because they are captive into the bodywork. If they snap, they're an absolute pain in the ass to get out. Apart from that though guys, uh, please uh, like the video if you've liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content as I will be making some more in the future. Hit up my red bubble shop. I'll soon I'll be have some more designs on there for t-shirts, stickers, mugs, anything you want, key rings, anything like that. Uh, but apart from that guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in my next one.